And the big night has arrived. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It's West Ham United facing Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, Derek, this has everything, doesn't it? Two good teams, some top-class players, and a couple of excellent coaches. What a final this should be. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the starting 11 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3-4-3 formation, but without wing-backs. So although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. It is the Europa League final. And they are underway. A chance to whip it in. Safe pair of hands did his job. Declan Rice. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air, so expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Making the pitch big, getting the ball out wide, and deliver as many crosses into the box as possible. Precise ball movement. Crossing opportunity. Real chance. And able to get a body in the way. Well, thumped clear. So. Daichi Kamada. And he's won the ball. Declan Rice. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Corner given. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the header off target, but resolute defence. Ndika. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? It's there for him! Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Declan Rice. Great effort to keep that one in play. 
promising looking attack from West Ham for Niles and played in well such a high degree of difficulty not quite in the end well how good was that it's such a difficult piece of skill which he made look so easy that deserved a goal Vladimir Kuval. Can they get in behind them? Suchek. Great opportunity. Oh, fine stop. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, not the easiest of chances. Tightly marked, but not even close in the end. Well, West Ham have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes. They're creating plenty of chances and looking a constant threat. You feel they have to take the lead at some point with this sort of domination. Must take the lead here. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Kamada. Rode. Kostic has it. It is a decent looking attack here. Daichi Kamada. Kostic. Pressing high to win the ball. Now, what can they do from here? Textbook defending inside the box. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Pablo Fornals. Patient build-up at the moment. Declan Rice. In possession, Bowen. And options in the centre. Suchek. Antonio, defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Really nice ball. Oh, he's blocked it. Player on the way again. Jared Bowen. Vladimir Kuval. Lanzini. Aaron Cresswell. Precise ball movement. He could pick out a teammate. Now to the front post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was all was going to be claimed. What can the Hammers do from this position? Cresswell. Fine cross into the middle. Oh, he needs to clear it here. 
Well, no damage done. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Will it happen for him here? Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but from a defensive point of view, it's not good enough. They stop marking in the box and don't close the scorer down. That's just poor defending. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Declan Rice. What can they do from here? Lanzini. Now he must favour the cross. Rice. They could nudge in front. Well, from that position, he really should be doing more to work the goalkeeper. Rice, and it's with Tomasz Suchek. Can he put it away? Oh, yes! The goal that might well be decisive. The goal that could give them the trophy. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider and with tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially and yellow it is a booking yeah he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card played in there just made sure nothing came of that foiling them effectively this might be ideal for the counter it is to be a throw in so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Craig Dawson in possession Bowen Suchek Pablo Fornals promising sequence and the cross smuggled away and there's the whistle this UEFA Europa League final has been decided and my goodness they deserve it Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. Well, relief and joy, I would say. What a great achievement this is, and so well deserved, as you mentioned. They were excellent tonight. What a good performance that was. The party can certainly start now. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think.